covers up because I got hot. Even though it's a good day today. So, progress is happening. Alright, so, I know this doesn't look like progress, but this is... This right here was everything that was on the floor earlier. So, I brought everything from here up here. This is just an empty bin that I still don't know what I'm going to do with it. But this is stuff I still need to go through. These are papers, so this is probably one of the last steps. This might be, gosh, it's a mixture of papers and accessories and empty bags and that. I just need to go through it because all of this was either um, stuffed or in my other closet. So I need to just get that out of the way and clear that up because that space I was here. Um, this right here is just clothes that I was just washing that obviously I'm going to be keeping. But that's what I'm going to keep right now. I'm just hang drying it. This is my makeup case, like I said earlier, and that's my makeup case, so I need to go through that. And I cleared here um, this area because it was all, like, cluttered. Um, that's all the pillows that go on the bed. Too many pillows, but whatever. This is still something I need to tackle, but I just wanted to let you guys know that the shoe situation got figured out. So, let me show you the back of shoes. That's, that is a bag of shoes. This is a 30 gallon bag. I don't even want to know how many pairs of shoes I put in there. I didn't want to count them. But these are the shoes I kept. Yeah, I think this is the only area I have them. Oh, I'll show you, I have them in another area too. But I think a total was 32 pairs of shoes that I decided to keep. So I decided these are like my, my boots. And, um, kind of, um, sorry, my, my boots or, like, dressy kind of shoes, booties, that. And these are all my tennis shoes, my Disney shoes, um, these, like, platform shoes that I'm trying to sell, but, I mean, they're worth value because they're the Fenty edition ones. So I'm going to keep those. These are my constant shoes on the go that I always wear. Another set of booties and a new balance. So a lot of like mixed things. And then if we come over here, these are shoes that I decided to keep that are not in a box. So there's some sandals here, some booties. Um, this is another pair of flip flops in here. Some casual shoes of booties. Um, and it goes up to these like Puma shoes. So that's where it stops. And then I have like one pair of Uggs, my Disney shoes really dirty and some like um, combat boots I have so those are all the pairs of shoes I decided nice so that is all that is my update and then uh, I decided to get a, a storage did I tell you guys yeah I'm gonna get a storage for the shoes and I found one so at least to put most of the shoes that don't have boxes. These that do have boxes, I think I'm okay with it. What I might want to do is take like a, a Polaroid picture and put it outside of the box so I see what the shoe in there is. Um, so do that so I can visually see. If not, they're all just going to go into clear containers and just do it that way. That way I see them. But that's all. That's all, guys. Oh my gosh. I mean, this is just not even half of what I need to do, but it's, for the most part, it's coming together. I'm feeling a little bit better today. And, yeah. So, I will see you guys next time. And if you have any suggestions for storing or organizing, um, I'm all ears. Okay? All right. Should I go down to, um, oh, my lashes are falling. Yeah. Um, should I probably, instead of 32 pa pairs of shoes, do you guys have an idea of how I can narrow that down? I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. Like, should I keep only three pairs of tennis shoes, one pair of booties? I, I, I don't know. Um, but that's what it is right now. I'm just going to keep the 32 and... We're going to call it a day because, yeah. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.